V. Haste, dear. What's your name? V. Haste, dear. Ich Haste, name. My name is name. Ich Haste, Harry. Wegen was hast du geschrieben? What did you write about? Wegen was der Haus ist. Oh ja, brach. What bad luck. I can't believe we went to see Cats of Blanca. Hey, got two thumbs up. Two thumbs up their asses. People enjoyed it. I mean, what the hell do they think? That they, they can just take classics and, and defile them? <sighs> cats. The cats were cute. And next thing you know, there'll be a movie about a talking penguin. <laughs> Hello? Who? Did you give Rachel my number? Hello. Yeah, hey. Uh-huh. Tomorrow. Um, <laughs> no, I can do it. That's fine. No, it's no problem. Okay. Yeah. Bye. What's up? Nothing. She, uh... <laughs> no, I told her I'd help her with something. What, her broomstick is broken? <laughs> Very funny. From your dad? Yep. So, uh, all the positive aspects of having parents that hate each other, huh? Yeah, well, it's better than teaching the horror. Uh, clean up the room, okay? Huh? No, that's my little section. That's my room. Yeah, yeah. Your room in my apartment. What? What? What is it? You want me to get out of here, don't you? Did I say I wanted you out of here? You want me to get out of here. Again, did I say that I wanted you to get out of here? I can't believe you want me to get out of here. Listen, if I wanted you to get out of here, I would tell you I want you to get out of here. I, I know I said two weeks, but it's been what? Like three months already? Four. Four months already? But it's a difficult quarter for real estate, and as soon as I get an apartment, I'll be out of here. No, 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 it's okay. You can stay as long as you need. Yeah. You see, deep down, deep down, we know that there's a good man hiding in there. It's deep. Buried, but cheers. Are you listening to yourself? Yes, and I'm right. Most people in the blacklist were Jewish. It was blatant anti Semitism. It was against Hollywood, not Jews. It just so happened to be, and still today, a lot of people in Hollywood are Jewish. No, I'm telling you, I've read about this. The government was hiding anti Semitism behind political patriotism. Oh, so the government was simply anti Semitic? No, no, no way. No, nobody's anti-Semitic. <laughs> Everything is anti-Semitic to you. The war in Rwanda is anti-Semitic to you. Wait, wait, wait. You think it wasn't? <laughs> I can't believe it. Only you. No, you see, you grew up in Israel, and so you take your Judaism for granted. Uh, you lived amongst the Jews. I had to practice my religion so I, so I wouldn't forget who I am. It's like Americans. They take their freedom for granted. Israelis take their Judaism for granted. Yeah, yeah. Keep reading your books. Ah, well, Shulam Aleichem, you boys are finally here. I told you, Shmulek, you treat them too good and they'll throw dreck all over you. Menachem Mendelberg, what's mach the yid? I see you've been studying the Yiddish tape I gave you. Everything will be fine when you finish my Fakakta movie, Harry. Don't worry, your Fakakta movie will be done by Sunday. Not to worry, they're good boys, talented. Besides, if they don't finish by Sunday, we'll recircumcise their little Dossicks. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Menachem, let's go. Get to work, boys. Come on. Uh, yeah. Let me go show you. Hey, tonight we go see Elijah's play. Oh, fuck. Come on, Elijah's our friend, and when his class puts on a scene, we have to go. You know I hate those artsy fartsy actor wannabe friends of his. I've seen porn stars act better. Yeah, well, we have to go. Fuck. Do you ever get worried? About what? I don't know. 
Am I forever gonna do what we came out here to do? No, oh, we'll do it. We just have to be a little bit more disciplined, that's all. Yeah, because, you know, I don't want to edit bar mitzvahs for the rest of my life. That is not why I came out here. Harry! Yeah. Don't worry. We'll do it. Yeah. Maybe we should write these things down. You know what? I think I'm ready to get married. Maybe I should work on the weddings. No, seriously, I think I'm ready. You are not ready for marriage. You don't know how to treat women. The last month you wanted to be a single parent because you hate to share in decision making. Well, I don't know how to treat women. No, you don't. What was her name the last date? Who? The last girl you had a date with? Mary? Yeah, Mary. And why didn't it work out? What are you talking? Uh, wait, wait, what did you tell her? What did you tell her when you were alone in a room with her and she asked what you thought about her? Hey, she said honestly what I thought about her. Yeah, and you told her she wasn't ugly. Right, because she wasn't ugly. If she were ugly, I would have said she was ugly. That's honesty. Yes, it's honesty, but honesty does not have a place when it comes to treating women right. Oh, what? So I should lie to women? Well, it's not lying. It's it's a white lie. You know what? I will find the girl who appreciates me for my honesty, and she will be the one that I marry. <laughs> you sound like filler on the roof. Yeah, well, at least I'm not still in love with my ex-girlfriend who left me for another guy two years ago. Hey, hey, she broke up with him three months later, okay? Please. You pretend to be her close little friend so you can hook up with her again. You haven't dated for two years. Yes, I did. Well, you call it a date? It was a blind date, and she was blind. She was not blind. She still had 20% of her eyesight. She brought her guide dog to the restaurant. You belong in hell, you know that? <laughs> yeah, well, so does Rachel. Hey, hey, don't say that. That's messed up. Don't say that. Just saying, man. No, that's I'm a terrible saying. thing to say. Oh, so I'm going to lunch. This is... Hey, hey, I can see a nipple. Hi. Hey. You're early. Oh, yeah, I got off early. Is it okay? Yeah, yeah, sure, come in. You, uh, want something to drink? Coffee? Yeah, sure. Is this a new couch? Yeah, I got tired of the old one. I needed a change in color. That's nice. It works better, no? Yeah, yeah, it works great. <laughs> so, what's new? Oh, nothing really. Uh, still teaching the dance class at the synagogue. Uh, Last night was funny, actually. There was this old lady, and uh, she couldn't get the steps, so I was... What? You should do something with your hair. What? If you comb it back, you could really look good. Yeah? Comb it back? <laughs> I miss you, Harry. I miss you. One sec. Hello? Oh, hey, you. Yeah, the other night was amazing. Yes, I loved your present. I just hope I keep getting the same present over and over again. Yeah, I switched out of that shift. Didn't want to be distracted. Okay. Me too. See you then. So, uh, where's that cabinet? So, uh, new guy. Oh, Sean. Yeah, we've been hanging out lately. Is he Jewish? No, no, not at all. Well, where'd you meet him? In the ER. He's also a resident. There's a part missing. What part? The, the thing that holds the whole thing together. No, it's... It's fine. I, I like the way it looks now. I think it's fine. No, 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 give me the phone. I'll call him. Are you sure? It's fine. No, without it, the whole thing's gonna fall apart. Hey. We should go out to dinner sometime. Okay. Yeah, sure. And, uh... Good luck with that strong guy. <laughs> okay, um, I'll call you later. Okay, bye. Thanks. Here, then? What? 
That song. What about it? They censored that word. What word? They kept the ass and censored the hole. Huh? Do you know you can say ho on national radio? Yeah. You can say ho, but you can't say shit. So? So do you shit? Do you take a shit sometimes? Yeah. It's like to meet the guy who kept the ass and censored the hole. Whew. You'd need to do some censoring then. We could use that. It would be good if you could see the actual meeting. That would be good. No, 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 this could be good. In the beginning of the movie, we're having this conversation, and you're getting all passionate and shit, and then you meet them face to face and you freeze. Maybe we should start writing these things down. Oh, I got it. It's all up here, baby. All up here. Hello? Yeah, hi, Shmuel. Yeah, we're almost done with the movie. We just have to do a little bit more editing. Okay, yeah. All right, no problem. Yeah, bye, Shmuel. What did he want? Uh, the client wasn't happy with the titles. I hate this job. Hey, it's a start. You don't want the truth. Because deep down in places, you don't talk about their parties. You want me on the wall. Oh, you need me on the wall. We use words like honor. Cold, loti. We use these words as a backbone of a life spent defending something. You do serve as a punchline. I have neither the time nor the inclination to uh, expand myself to a man who rises and sleeps under the blankets of the very freedom in which I provide an equal manner in which I provide it. I would rather you just said merci and went on your way. Otherwise, you just you pick up a weapon and you stand up post. You want that chance? I think I'm entitled. You want the truth? I want the truth! You want the truth! Hey, do not be honest tonight, okay? Elijah's our friend, I want to keep it that way, alright? Alison, I thought what you did tonight was so brilliant, and <laughs> you should come over later. Hey, 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 how's it going, man? Uh, this is Allison Hi. and Pascal. Yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, uh, after we eat, we're gonna rob a bank or something. <laughs> uh, first of all, I would just like to say, Harry and Marty, of course, too. Uh, thank you guys for coming tonight. I, I, I think you saw probably one of our best shows, right? Yeah. I mean, oh my. God, it was so amazing <laughs> yeah. tonight. We were ah, uh, just privileged. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely privileged. No, we're privileged. I felt like we captured the essence of the characters, oh, all of us. Just oh my God, it was. Mm. Hey, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. <Wow>. cheers. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely privileged. No, we're privileged. <laughs> you think? You think that's funny? No, cheers, guys. Cheers. Great job. You think you really captured the essence? You didn't think so. Oh yes, he did think. He thought. We both thought. We both thought it was a lovely performance. And this man, this man was moved to tears. No, wait. What did you really think about the play tonight, Marty? Do you want the truth? Yes, of course, only the truth. You can't handle the truth. Ha <laughs> that's hilarious. No, no, we could use that. We could use that. That's good. Don't worry, I got it all up here. Listen to me. If Aaron Sorkin saw what you did to his play tonight, he would retire out of guilt to society. Your problem is, you come to this play tonight expecting the Hollywood performances of Tom Cruise and Jack Nicholson? No. We, as actors of the Merced, we don't uh, believe in the short attention span of the average person. You see, theater is the puppet which is the most powerful means of influence. influence. You think because you can quote Stanislavski that makes you an actor? You can't act, period. Okay, that's, uh, that's dialogue. That's, uh, he uses that for dialogue because he's, he's a writer and it's, it's funny, Marty. <laughs> well, that is just your opinion. Opinion? No, it's way beyond opinion. You guys stink. Uh, check, please. Could we, um, yeah. Actually, I appreciate your honesty. But I mean, you as a writer, of course, I'm sure, will write scripts in the future that other people might think stink. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but 
if I wrote, say, a movie about uh, talking penguins, uh, that, you know, I could sit back, work on my masterpiece, you wouldn't find me here toasting my... D <laughs> The shitty, uh, the shitty is. A writer, you're sure at a loss of words. <laughs> Touche, Alison. <laughs> Why don't you go out to your little cinema at the strip mall and uh, see your Spielberg film with the combo butter popcorn meal? That's funny. You call Murray. That's. What? Spielberg? Spielberg. Uh, what about Schindler's List, buddy? No, that movie was merely considered for its subject matter. No, Stefan Spielberg is an artistic coward. Did oh, we God. order a check over here? <laughs> uh, the Holocaust? The Holocaust, you French, European, pompous, shitty actor, son of a bitch. Okay, shitty? Buddy. Yeah, buddy, buddy, shitty. Calm down. Yeah, here shitty, artistic coward. You guys are cowards. You come from a nation of cowards. You just let Hitler waltz into your country. Oh, well, you know, I wasn't working immigration that day. At all. Oh, yeah. I saw him in his pulpit for two and a half hours. I couldn't understand what okay. you fucking said. Well, okay. you can't be a genius because you're not the genius. Oh, my God, you want some? Here I am, oh, all right? Here okay. I am. Okay. Here I am with this okay. behind me. And they said my cocks are well off. Israel behind me? Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. What about the, the Allison, though? Oh, yeah, she's cute. You like that? Yeah, we had a nice little moment going there. Yeah, you did. You had a really nice moment. I think right after you told everyone that they stink, was, was that the moment? You, oh, you don't think that'll be a problem? No, oh, you heard her. She appreciates honesty. <laughs> OK, man, whatever. And you're gonna have to get her phone number. Yeah, maybe you could get her from Elijah after he recovers from those second degree burns, huh? Hey, I was aiming for Pascal. Hey, you wouldn't really write a movie about a fucking talking penguin, would you? Sure I would. No, really, would you? Yeah, you wouldn't. You'd really write a movie about a talking penguin? Yeah, if that's what it takes to get me going in this town, hell yeah. You have no problem with that? No, none whatsoever. He would soup that low. Listen, if the guy who gave me the six cents can write a movie about a talking mouse, then I can write a movie about a talking penguin, okay? What are you talking about? What are you saying? That is selling your soul to the devil. It's money in the bank. Money in the bank? Is that all this is to you? With the money in the bank, I can sit down and work on my masterpiece. What about your permanent record? What permanent record? IMDB. Listen, there are other ways. There are many very successful screenwriters who didn't have to write shit to make it. Okay, so keep editing the Leibovich Weddings and the Pajkowski Bar Mitzvahs, and I'll sell my shitty Penguin script and sit back and work on my masterpiece. That's a stupid job, isn't it? Hey, it's a start. Let's go to Chad's. I need some weed. You can't dance at two weddings at once. Men can ish tanzen, I fast and often more. Hey, what are you doing? That's my Yiddish. Fuck your Yiddish. Listen, you gotta stop throwing my Yiddish tapes out the window. Well, it's annoying. Take off your shoes. Are you kidding me? Take off your shoes. You know how he hates germs. You can see this guy, I hate him. Harry Man! Chad Man! Harry Man comes with the Marty Man! Harry Man and the Marty Man here to see the Chad Man! Uh, Harry Man is in desperate need of the Weed Man! Harry Man! Josh Man! Harry Man! Josh Man! Looking very stoned, man! Harry Man knows Josh Man! Last night I saw Rain Man! You got it, it's funny. It's funny, right? Harry, you don't look so good. You still taking those vitamins I gave you? Yeah, yeah. No, no, actually, uh, <laughs> I stopped. Harry, what the hell? The vitamins are essential for keeping a healthy, trim body, man. Yeah, look at me. Ah, uh, no, I know. I, yeah, I should take them. You're right. 
So what have you guys been up to lately? Uh, well, uh, uh we're writing a script. <laughs> really? Yeah. You know, one of my best clients happens to be a head honcho over at the Misney Studios. Really? Yeah. Misney. How do you think they come up with that shit, man? I could probably call him and set you guys up with a meeting or something. Well, I don't know. We're not really Misney material, but, uh... But yeah, yeah, thanks. So much shit did you need? You know, dude, you paid for that. The bid? No, this isn't mine. It was no, dude, paid. I mean, <laughs> I mean, people, man, they paid for that. Okay. <laughs> no, man, don't you get it? You pay for everything, man. I mean, everything that you have, man, you pay for it, dude. Okay? Listen here. Okay, you pay for your glasses. Your your shoes. You pay for the shirt on your back. Your hair. Your board, man. You pay for your board, dude. Your board. Imagine this. Right? You walk into a restaurant, right? You 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 eat. You drink. You socialize. Hey, Gustavo, how's it hanging, man? You know? And then you walk back out without paying. I mean, dude, that's the life, man. That is the life. That. <laughs> dude. That, uh, yeah. Josh, right? Yeah. See, si. I'm gonna go. I'm uh, due back on planet Earth. Hey, that's Woody Allen's, man. Harry, what the Christ is this? Do you know how bad that is for you? There is so much bacteria under your nails. And that, my friend, is probably why you get sick all the time. Here's your dope. Don't smoke it all at once. <clears throat> Hey, one of Chad's clients is uh, uh, head honcho at Misney. At Misney? Hmm, what do you think they come up with that shit? At uh, Misney? Yeah, Misney. They could probably hook you guys up with a meeting or something. Nah, no, uh, we're not really Misney material, I told them. Well, are you not? Uh, Chad, when could you do it? Anytime, man. I could call him anytime. I'll call him now. Hey, Mark Man, it's me. No, don't worry about it. We're cool. Listen, I have got two writers here that you have to meet. Dude, they have an amazing idea for a movie. Hey, did I ever steer you wrong? Who gave you the idea of the lion and his son and all that shit, man? That was my idea. Okay, great. No, just have somebody uh, stop by and pick it up. All right, man. Talk to you. Bye. Uh, yeah, uh, actually, we're... We don't have an idea. <laughs> uh, yeah, yes, yes, we do, we do. Uh, what did he say? He's gonna call me in a few days, set up a meeting. Simba. <laughs> yeah, man, that was a funny name, dude. <laughs> what a great guy, huh? Is he a great guy or what? Miss me, holy Moses. Yeah, yeah, great. What the hell are we gonna write for them? They ain't come out here to write Catsablanca 2. Oh, don't worry. Come on, when we get home, we're gonna write the best screenplay they ever laid eyes on. Mm. I can't think of anything. This is... Yeah, me neither. We should write. Go. No. I mean now. 
We should get up now and write. Let's get up and write. Write something, anything, a, a, a sentence, a word, a monologue, a dialogue, a title, anything. Let's get up and write that we got up to write. Let's get up and write about what it felt like to get up and write. I don't know, let's write something. Just write something, my God. You mean now? Okay, start writing. What the hell am I supposed to write? Open the final draft. No shit, you got final draft? Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go. Where'd you get final draft? I burned it, okay? Let's go. Okay. We need an idea. Okay, idea. I got one. Nope, done already. Mm. Well, let's just start with something simple. Come on, we always think of shit when we're just talking. Yeah. So, let's just write one of those. What, like about ourselves? No, not about ourselves. Just, just what we say. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Alright, how about this? Interior. Car. That song. What about it? They censored that word. What word? They kept the ass, and they censored the whole. Yeah. You know, you can say ho on national radio. Huh. You can say ho, but you can't say shit. So? So do you shit? Do you take a shit sometimes? Yeah. Good God, that is boring. Yeah, you're right, that's shit. Shit. You know, uh, we could continue tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, no pressure. We have simple right foot close, left foot close, right slide, right slide. Beautiful. Look at this class. Experts already. Okay, here we go. All right. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. One, two, th five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful. All right. So four counts. Right, left, face, center, step behind, right, left, leap, step behind, right, left, leap, step behind, left, leap, step behind, left, leap, step behind, good, right, left, arms up, stay on your toes, keep your heels off the ground, beautiful. Does this ever happen to you? Well, never again. Keep on Incorporated realized the ever so common problem and invented the ultimate solution. Introducing Keepa Keepa. And this is how it works. After years of research, Keepa Incorporated found that by putting special electrical magnets on the rims of the yarmulke, the yarmulke sticks to your head, even without a hair clip. <laughs> Keep a keep a now for only $19.95. And that's not all. Call within the next 10 minutes and we'll send you two for the price of one. Please send check or money ordered. P.O. Box 6574, Fairfax, California, 90027. Or call 555-0155. Sitter and Talith, not included.
Beautiful. Way to go, boys. I love it. You see, I told you they could do it. Good job, boys. Thanks, sir. We're glad you're happy. Right, Harry? Yeah, yeah, great. You know what? I'm going to the car to get you to a keeper keeper. No, no, no. We're okay. It's fine. Ah, I insist. <laughs> I'm proud of you guys. You did good. So, great. Uh, we done for the day? Get back to work, boys. God damn it. Hey. I got a date with Allison tonight, but later when I get home, we should write. Man, I thought he was gonna let us go home. <laughs> so, when he was ready to return to his people at the bottom of the mountain, God tells him, and remember Moses, never cook a calf in his mother's milk. It's cruel. And Moses says, oh, I see, you mean don't eat meat and milk. And God says, no, no, Moses, never cook a calf in his mother's milk. It's cruel. And Moses says, oh, oh, I get it. You mean don't mix dishes used for meat with dishes used for milk. And God says, no, Moses, listen to me, please. Never cook a calf in its mother's milk. It's cruel. And Moses says, oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. You mean if we do eat meat, we have to wait at least six hours before we eat milk. And God says, you know what, Moses, just do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> <laughs> it's a damn good hummus. No, it's the best in LA. Believe me, I tried them all. I have to kind of admit, though, that I was a little surprised that you took me to a hummus place. Well, I was hungry. Mm, this is mine and Harry's favorite place. How'd you get my number, by the way? Harry got it from Elijah. How's he doing? Oh, Elijah? He's better. He's going on Thursday to get the bandages removed. Well, that's good. Friend is kind of a nutcase, huh? <laughs> we all have our own little Michigases, but he's a good guy. Is this a date? Excuse me? What we're doing here, you and I, is it a date? Well, yeah, I, I called you up, asked if you'd like to go out, yeah, it's a date. It's, it doesn't feel like a date. What do you mean? I mean, usually on dates it's like 20 questions. 20 questions? Yeah. Like, what's your favorite color? What kind of music do you like to listen to? Favorite movie? You know, the usual stuff. Uh, okay. Blue, uh, classic rock. Don't have one. Your turn. You don't have a favorite movie? No, I don't like people who have one favorite movie. It's ignorance. I have a favorite movie. Oh. <laughs> uh, what is it? I'm not telling you. You're not telling me? No, you'll laugh. Why would I laugh? Because you're into this honesty shit and you'll tell me straight to my face that I'm an idiot. No, I wouldn't. Yes, I mean, I probably would if it is a stupid movie, but... You see? But wouldn't you want me to be honest? Marty, nobody ever taught you how to treat a woman. Yeah, my father did. I take it your mother was a happy woman. No, she's a recovering alcoholic. I'm sorry. Eh, that's okay. They were separated when I was 10. <laughs> what, what about you? Well, I grew up here in good old Southern Cal with my mother. She was a crazy woman, though. And I never met my father. It must have been hard. Well, I am who I am because of it. And I wouldn't change who I am, not for a second. Figured out, don't you? What do you mean? I mean, you didn't take me to that hummus place because you love eating hummus. You took me there because you want to show me that you're not like everyone else. Well, I'm not. Yeah, you probably thought of everything you were going to tell me to. It's not true. Yes, it is. You probably know exactly how this date's going to end, too, right? Oh, yeah? What's my plan? Well, you're waiting for me to tell you that I'm tired. Oh. And then I want you to take me home. Because 
and you'll drive me home and you'll walk me to my front door and you'll say I had a really great time tonight. Will we do it again sometime and I'll say sure. And then you'll tell me that from the moment you met me you wanted to kiss me. But you're waiting for my permission first. And then you'll kiss me. Uh -huh, you see you're wrong. I am? No. I was gonna kiss you right now without your permission. <laughs> I so knew you were gonna say that. Oh, yeah. did you know I was gonna kiss you on your stomach? <laughs> no. <laughs> Come here. So we had a nice time tonight. Do you think we uh, do it again sometime? <laughs> sure. Hello? Oh. Hello. I liked the music tonight. Oh, yeah. Uh, hey, you have an accent. Where's that from? Germany. Oh, wow. Germany. Well, that's nice. Germany. Good people. So, uh, what's a nice German girl like you doing? Taking an Israeli folk dancing class? I am studying at UCLA. What? They make you take mandatory Israeli folk dancing at UCLA? No. <laughs> no, I spent a year on a kibbutz and I miss it. Oh, yeah? Wow. I'm Helga. Oh, uh, Helga. Whoa, that. That's a nice name. I'm Harry. Hello, Harry. Hello, Helga. So, do you like my dress? I prefer the blue one. Wow. I love your honesty. Did you know you can't say ho on national radio? Hey, come here. Read this. What? No? It's what people want to see. It was goaltending, no? Wasn't it? Do you see that? Hey, so how was it? How'd it go with Allison? I don't know. It's okay. We kissed. Really? Yeah, we kissed. Wow. It was amazing. Oh, great. Great. Something felt right. It was really special, you know? Really? Great. How about her acting? How about it? Well, I don't know. Did you tell her that you that, that she stinks? Ah, uh, it's okay. She appreciates honesty. So you told her? Foul! Oh, that was a foul! <sighs> so, uh, how's the succubus? 
<clears throat> asshole. You are an asshole. You know that? Oh, God, she started seeing some other guy. Shit. Yeah, I know. Yeah, usually the first boyfriend after the breakup hurts. It's just that it has been two years and she's had 50 already. You know, I know. All right, I know. It's just we sat together the other day and we were talking and it just felt good. It just felt good. He's open! Pass the ball, you schmuck! Look, it always feels good to come back to things you know, but I'm telling you, she's moved on and you haven't. And she keeps you close because it's comfortable for her. Don't give you're her safety. I know, I know, okay? I know. Yeah, man, you gotta get out there. Well, there is this one girl. White girl. Jesus, the guy doesn't pass the ball. Unbelievable. Well, she's taking the dance class, actually. Well, at least she's Jewish. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah, that's the problem. Her name is Helga. Helga? Hmm? <clears throat> Isn't that a... Yeah, that's a German name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you like that? Okay. That's a letter. You no. like it? Okay. Yeah. No, it's really nice. You're really uh, a very compassionate person. All right, all right. We're supposed to be thinking of ideas. Can we think of ideas? No, you're right. You're right. You're right. I can't think of anything. Man, I can't concentrate. This is bullshit. Uh, we need some kind of conflict, you know? That's a foul! Will you call your foul? Guy, what a prick. I mean, every time we come out here, the guy... So, believe it or not, ever since World War II, almost every American Jew has been bugged, whether they know it or not. Because the anti-Semites believe that Israel would become a, a communist regime. Is that Cholosius or what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's new with you, Harry? Um, nothing much, really. Uh, so someone set up a meeting for us to pitch something at Disney. Wow, really? Get out, that's wonderful. I always knew you were gonna make it. Yeah, well, it's, uh, it's a little premature for that. We don't really have an idea yet, and we're still trying to come up with some kind of conflict. <laughs> Sean, um, Harry, this is Sean. Sean, this is Harry. Sean, look at him. <laughs> oh, Harry. Oh. Richard, you never told me about Harry. So, Sean, it's very nice to meet you. I, I hear you're a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> um. I'm here for the girl, see? Well, then you came to the wrong place, sonny boy. Now you listen to me, Colfax, and you listen good. I'm done playing games. Now let it go. Now you listen to me and you listen good. I don't know who you are or where you came from, but you better pack your bags and leave before something bad happens to you, see? Let me ask you something, Colfax. Do you shit? Do you take a shit sometimes? Huh? I'm sick of people like you running this world. You all right now? No. Why not? Let's bring back film noir. To miss me? Promise you won't get mad. Yeah, yeah. I promise. It's Marty. Harry's Marty? Yep. Are you crazy? <laughs> Come on, you promised. Allison, you heard what he said. He doesn't have the slightest appreciation for what we're trying to do. Yeah, well, 
You know, we all have our own little measure gases. Our own what? Look, Elijah, just don't worry about it, okay? I know what I'm doing. Besides, I like him. You know, I had a really nice time with him. And he's different from all the superficial guys I date usually. What did he say about your one-man play? Well, I didn't tell him yet. You're scared he might not be there for you, right? No, you know, I really think that deep down inside there's a good guy hiding there. Well, if there is, he's doing a good job. Just promise me one thing. Take it slow. I promise I will. No, really, Allison. Take it slow. Promise. Yeah, yeah, I promise. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. So, did I tell you about my one-man play? Baby, you just saw a one-man play. Oh. No, no, you didn't tell me. Oh, well, yeah. I'm putting on a one-man play. You should come. Again? Oh! Well, are you coming? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, you know, I didn't even tell you this. Very nice. I, I got this big pitch meeting with uh, Misney coming up. Really? Misney? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. And uh, we haven't come up with an idea yet, but... Um, we need to do a little bit of writing. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I'll come, you know, if we're not working or anything. When is it? Here. Here. Wow, great. We should talk about this. Really? <sighs> no, you see, I told you you'd get those steps. It was good. I love it. It's quite a workout. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thanks. So, do you live alone? No, I'm living with someone now. Oh, that's nice. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm living with my partner, Marty. Oh, oh, I see. I, I understand. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh. No, uh, we're writing partners. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we, we write together. Wow, you are a writer? What do you write about? We write, uh, you know, screenwriting stuff. We actually have a, a pitch with Disney. What's it about? Well, I haven't really gotten to that stage yet, but... <laughs> How did you meet Marty? Uh... Way back in elementary school, when we were like 10 years old. Yeah. I was the smallest kid in class, always. All the other kids would be playing sports, and I hated being picked last, so... I would sneak out, and I'd go home, and I'd watch movies. You know Raiders of the Lost Ark? Alright, so that was my favorite movie, which I'd watch five times a day. So one day, I was at the water fountain, and, you know, I, I cut the biggest kid in the class above me. I cut him in line. And uh, he got very enraged and started pushing me. And uh, and then this new kid came flying in, this kid from Israel, and started pushing him back. He got suspended for three days because they went off and they got this huge fight. And so I go over to his house afterwards to thank him, go up to his room, he opens his door, and there's this huge poster of Indiana Jones. So, like that. I knew that we were going to be great friends. And I had someone to watch the movie five times a day with. Uh, he, he had the he had the hat, you know, the Indiana Jones hat. He still has it. Yeah, but, you know, so we were best friends ever since. That's a great story. Why don't you write about that? Oh, come on. Who would want to see a movie about that? Hey, dudes. Listen, the meeting is set for tomorrow morning at 9. His name is Mark Feinberg, and his office is on the top floor of the Misty building. I'm sure you guys came up with something killer that'll blow him away. All right, I'll see you later. Good luck, dudes! Hey, dudes. Listen, the meeting is set for tomorrow morning at 9. 
His name is Mark Feinberg, and his office is on the top floor. How are you doing? Building. I'm sure you guys came up with something killer that'll blow him away. Just reminding us we have less than six hours to come up with a story and we ain't got shit. Yes, yes, I know that. This I know. Let's just start. Let's just let's just start with a scene and we'll see where it takes us. A scene? What scene? I don't know. Any scene? Oh, any scene. Yes, a scene, any scene. Come on. Come on, let's just go. Let's go. Interior. Interior, you sure? What? No? What about interior, exterior? What? Yeah, you know, the action is inside, but the camera is outside. Exterior. Okay, okay. Exterior. Exterior, street. Wall, wall, wall. Street? Nothing a little more exciting than street? Okay, okay. Uh, so what? What do you have? Graveyard. Graveyard? Nah, you're right. Depressing. Yeah. Exterior hospital. Oh, that's not depressing. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, so what? Uh, exterior... Delhi. Delhi. Exterior... Delhi. What is it? Exterior Delhi. Yeah, yeah. You know, they're uh, eating outside. Okay. Exterior, deli, night. Night? Why night? Why? Uh, why not? No, no, no. We start in the day and we end in the night. Why? Why not? Wait, 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 wait. Guys, you start with characters. What do you mean? First, think of the characters and the story will evolve. Yeah, uh, okay, thanks. But uh, there are a lot of ways to do that. We could do that differently. We could start with place and time and let the characters evolve from there. Um, <laughs> uh, isn't that what you've been trying to do? And uh, I don't think that's been working for you. Hey, hey, calm down. Hey, he's just trying to help. Tell your Meshuggah friend over there to calm down. Well, what the hell did I say? You guys really stink. Stink. Totally stink. Stink! Woo. When do you come over here? Be my guest, man. That stinks so bright, I'm putting my sunglasses back on. Come on, you want to do it? It's so easy? Come on, go ahead. Made of poo-poo. Duty. Come on. Uh -huh, yeah. Wait! You know what? It's Misney. Let's do Misney. Let's write a movie about a talking penguin. Um, no. No, no. No, 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 no. I am not writing a movie about a fucking talking penguin. But why not stop being so pretentious? Just li li listen to me. No, no, I am not stooping to that level. Okay, Forget okay. it. Okay, I got one. I got one. It's a story of a penguin who talks, and uh, there's a kid who doesn't talk. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. I mean, that's, that's good conflict. That... Right there, I mean, yeah, no fucking way. Why, man? Let's give them what they want. Come on, man, we are better than that. Talking penguin? Hey, come on. Do you, you want to sell a script? This is our chance. Let's give them what they want. Okay, so, uh, so what happens in our talking penguin script? Okay, well, it's a journey uh, uh, about this uh, kid who, who doesn't talk. And somehow his parents bring home a penguin who talks and the kid changes and at the end, he speaks. I mean, it's a journey. Listen to yourself. Mar no. No, no, we have a once in a lifetime opportunity to go in there and show some of these, these very important people in Hollywood how good we are, how good you are. I don't wanna do that. We're better than that. You know it. I know it. We are better. So talking penguin, no. Uh, no. That is lazy. That is just laziness. Why? Come on. Marty. Marty. Please. Let's, let's do something good here. Let's come up with something, something really admirable. Make them think. Make them, make them laugh and cry and, and, and... I liked your idea about, about the journey. Harry man, Marty man. It'll be just one more minute.
Let me do all the talking, all right? No sudden outbursts of anything, okay? Oh, really, this is important. We've got a great idea here. It's gonna walk on its own. No funny stuff, just... You want to put the script? It's okay, it's okay. You can go in now. <laughs> well, if it's not Harry Man and Marty Man, Chad's told me a lot about you guys. Well, we are we are very happy to be here, sir. Uh, love your work, love it. Nice. Okay, guys, come on in. Have a seat. I apologize, but I gotta run out of here in five minutes. I got a budget meeting for Casablanca too. I'm sure you guys saw the first one. So, what'd you think? Oh, yes. Yes, that was great. That was great. We loved it. Yeah! <laughs> okay, come on, to business. What do you got for me? Now, we got a really great idea, a really great story. Um, it's a journey, and uh, there's this man, and uh, he is going through this midlife crisis. He has a family, wife, two kids, and he hates his job. He hates his friends. Uh, he just finds them really annoying, and, uh, and he is in this pit. This man is in the hole. And? And he takes it out on his family. I mean, he treats his family like crap. He takes his family for granted. His wife like crap, kids like crap. And his wife feels completely alone. Completely alone and desolate. And? Ah, one day she's up in the attic, looking around for something. She finds this present that he gave her when they were really young, this gift that means so much to her. And she cries because of all the nostalgia, the memories that come flooding back, she cries big tears, real tears, in grief for herself, for her children, and for her husband, her husband, whom she used to love, love lost, lost love. And? And, um, and, well, then, uh, then, uh, you know, uh, she goes off. It's action time, she goes off. Uh, she takes action, and she goes right to the, to the family doctor, um, who is also a family friend, <laughs> and uh, she confides in him, shows him her pain, her, her inner self, her soul, uh, bears it all, and, uh, and convinces him to uh, tell the husband that he only has three weeks left to live. Yeah, 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 and? Um, well, that's... Uh, uh, that's, uh, he, he, he finds out that he has changed. I mean, he has gone through this, this incredible, this, he, uh, has gone through this incredible life-changing experience, uh, through this ordeal. And he realizes how lucky he is to have these great kids and this, this great wife and he wants to try to make it happy again. <clears throat> Anything else? Anything else? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, there is something else. There is the fact that he falls in love again with his wife. And he falls in love. And they renew their vows. <laughs> And they are very happy, 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 you know? I really have to go. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 there's more. I mean, there, there, there is more to this story. Okay, guys, please, I really have to go. I've wasted enough time already. Uh, Judy, tell Rick to get ready. Yes, Mr. Feinberg. Um, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I mean, because there, there's, there's also a talking penguin. A talking penguin? Talking penguin. Talking penguin. Yeah, there's there's a talking penguin. Yes. Talking penguin. Judy, hold my calls. Go on, go on. 
there's this penguin who talks and he's delivered in a box by the wife the wife brought home the penguin yes that's right you know what I can see it a miserable man a journey and a penguin the only thing that can cure an estranged man. <sighs> Listen, Harry, man, let's forget all about that pessimistic bullshit. People don't like to watch misery. Instead of the wife going to the doctor, she goes to, uh, 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 to the zoo and finds a talking penguin. I like it. <laughs> I like it very, very much. Okay, boys, you got a lot of work to do. I can't promise anything, but I want a working draft on spec by the end of the month. Then we'll talk money. DreamWorks, kiss my ass. <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? Holy Moses, we did it. We made it. We're in. I can't believe I'm going to make a movie about a talking penguin. Are you nuts? We just had a meeting at Disney. They want us to write a script. Get off the pedestal, buckle up, let's go to the bank. Yeah, yeah, great, a movie about a penguin. A movie about a talking penguin. What are we gonna do? This is your fault. What, my fault? Your You're fault. the one who said talking penguin in there, not me. I did not come out here to, to make a movie about a talking okay. penguin. Okay. A talking penguin, no. We came out here to make good movies, good movies, great movies. But no, no, not for you, no. Get off the high horse, who the fuck do you think you are? Yeah, my high horse, yeah, okay. First, you make me take the job editing weddings and bar mitzvahs. Second, you push me into this penguin shit. Third, you want me to come... Yeah. Listen, do you remember when we were kids, growing up in the neighborhood, and we wanted to go outside and play, and your mother always said, Herschel, not until you finish all your homework. Well, just think of this movie as homework, and when we get finished, we go out and play. We go out and play. Look what I got you. Just for you. Where do we find a little bit of luck? Where do we find a little bit of happiness? Das Leben is a schmer wie a klein chalem. Life is but a short dream. Das Leben ist nicht mehr wie a chulem. Was wir kennen nicht today in Zurich. Which we can never play back.
Hey. Marty, hey, you're early. What's wrong? <laughs> Where's the schlock? Uh, he's not coming in today. Why not? Can we talk? Yeah, sure. Have a seat. No, what's wrong? You want to say something? Oh, you don't want to work here anymore. Yes. What happened? We got a writing job at a big studio. Well, that's terrific. A writing job for a big studio. Great. We have to dedicate every second to this project. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm grateful. I mean, Harry and I are really great. Shh, shh, shh. Sh enough. Now you finally wrote a script, huh? Yeah. It's not as easy as it seems coming up with a good idea. I guess all you have to do is use your own life for inspiration. You get a feeling, you sit down, and you write it. Yeah. I'm happy for you. You're not upset? Of course I'm upset. I still have to find someone to do the Lakowski wedding. Anyway, you know what they say. When good fortune comes, pull up a chair for it. Yeah. So you'll make some good movies, like uh, Casablanca. Now, that's a good movie. Or uh, On the Waterfront. Ooh, what a movie. <laughs> anyway, you'll, uh, you'll make a good movie, right? I like it, I like it. No, no, no I like no, it. No, no, no. This is a very pretty no. picture. I want it for my mantelpiece. <laughs> it's very solemn and serious and flattering. Where's Marty? I don't know. Probably with Allison. Are you guys okay? Oh, me and Marty, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. People grow apart. Everything's money with that guy. Uh, you want someone to drink? No. No. Thank you. So, what do you think about LA? Uh, you don't like it either? <laughs> It's okay. The weather is nice. Uh, yes. The the weather is is very very nice. It's it's perfect. Now, yeah. I don't know. Something about this place is just. Know, it's devoid of character. You know. Mm -hmm. It's like people come out here from all over the place, from these these little towns and these little cities that are filled with character to this place that has absolutely no character, and you know, they all come out here for the same reason. It's just, I don't know, you feel like they... They, they, they try to get this character back that they left behind with their art. Yeah. That was very nice. I like the way you express your thoughts. I like the way you express my thoughts. Um, you wanna watch a movie? I have the producers. How come all the time we met you never tried to kiss me? Uh, well... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I didn't know that you wanted me to. <laughs> well... I do. Um... Okay. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Who, me? Good, good. Well, you remember the cabinet? The part that was missing, it came today. That's good, good. Would you like to come and put it together? Well, why don't you uh, get your friend Sean to do that? Oh, Sean, no, that didn't. 
wasn't for me. Really? Um, hey, can you hear something? Uh-huh. Uh, well, I don't know. Come over. It'll also give us a chance to talk about things, you know? Talk about things? I don't know. Please? I'll be there in half an hour. I'm sorry. Uh... I have to go. No, a friend of mine, they need something, and I promise that... Where are my fucking cigarettes? Um, but look, uh... Uh, can I just take you home? Is something wrong? No, 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 no. Everything's fine, really. I just, uh, I should go. So I'll call you later, all right? Uh, Are you going to come back? Should I wait for you? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let me call you later, all right? So did they like it? Yeah, very much. I think they're really interested in making this movie. That's great. Yeah. I'm proud of you guys. So what happens next? Yeah, they told us to get a lawyer who'll probably negotiate the contract. I don't know much, but it seems like in the stand, if you have something they want, it just takes off from there. So you're gonna be rich and famous, huh? Yeah, I hope so, that's the plan. Are you gonna take me with you? Of course. Wherever I go, you go. You know that. <laughs> Where's Harry been? I don't know, probably with Helga. I like Helga. Are you guys okay? Yeah, we're fine. People grow apart, you know. <laughs> Guy is all heart, but he's not very much brains. You know, I really like this lying here like this. What do you mean? I mean, it's like nice. We're just quiet, just talking, and no bullshit, you know? Yeah, it is nice. And we don't argue. We have nothing to argue about. We argue. Well, I mean, yeah, but not like uh, crazy couples that go nuts, you know? It's like we fit. Yeah, it is nice. Yeah. So who am I gonna play? What do you mean? I mean, like, what part am I gonna play? In the movie? Which movie? <laughs> Your movie, silly. <laughs> I mean... Who, you know, who can I be? Jessica, maybe? Or Aya? I, um, don't know. I guess, you know, they have their own casting people. I'm really not involved with that sort of thing. Or... Well, yeah, I know, but... I mean, if you had a say. Who do you think I could be? Uh, I don't know, uh... It's, it's not my job. Yeah, I know that. But hypothetically speaking, I mean, how would you cast me? I don't like hypothetical questions. It's... You wouldn't cast me in your movie, would you? Well, Allison, it's a professional movie and they'll need to use professional actors. <laughs> I can't believe this. Well, you still have a long way to go, you know, to become a pro actress. That's besides the point. I am aware that I have a ways to go, but you don't appreciate me as an actress. Well, I'm being honest. And honestly, the play you guys put on was terrible. The play? From, from that little play you decide that I'm a fake? That's what you decide. Well, you know what? Fuck you. I'm out of here. Hey! I thought you appreciated my honesty! You can shove your honesty up your ass! Come on! 
Honesty, no? Remember? Shit. Wait, 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 wait. No! Wait, listen. What do you want? Listen, I know I said some shitty things. But you know what? Street. I don't want to hear wait, it. Wait, please hear me out. It doesn't matter to me if you're a shitty actor or the best actor in the world. I want to be with you, and that is the most important thing. And I would put you in every movie that I would ever be involved in. What? No, you just don't get it, do you? Get what? I love you. No, Marty, you just don't get it. How could you possibly be with me if you don't have the slightest appreciation for what I do? How can you look in my face? How can I tell you about my dreams and my passions if you don't believe in me? I know I can't. Oh, wait, then we build this relationship on honesty? Honesty? You want honesty? I'll give you honesty. Remember I wouldn't tell you what my favorite movie is because I was afraid you'd laugh? Yeah, well, I don't give a shit if you laugh. My favorite movie is Raiders of the Lost Ark. You been uh, working out? <laughs> no, <laughs> not really. Do you want something to drink? Uh, Some wine, maybe? No, no thanks. I'm fine. So how's the script going? Ah, uh, we finished it. We're negotiating with Misney now. <laughs> wow. Really? Yeah. I always knew you were going to make it. Uh, well, I don't think of it that way. So, uh, what happened with you and Sean? Oh, I told you. He wasn't the guy for me. What does that mean? He was just too self-centered. Everything was always about him. It made me appreciate what you and I had. I guess I was looking for the wrong things. People do that, you know? They take the good stuff in life for granted. Yeah. I know we did that. I know. I really missed you. The part. What? Um. The the part of the cabinet. Oh right. I'll go get it. It's in the bedroom. Is this a new couch? Yeah. You know me, got bored with the other one. <laughs> Here it is. Oh. So it's uh, these things that keep the bottom part together. You know what, I think it just looks fine the way it is. I have to go. What's wrong? Uh, nothing. Uh, uh, I got somebody waiting for me.
So, uh, almost finished, huh? Yep. You gotta check on the table. So, uh, you're gonna be living alone again. Happy? I don't know if happy is the right word. Try thrilled. <laughs> right, thrilled. Well, Helga will be here in a second. Then I'll be out of your hair. You know what? I don't understand you. I mean, you, you hated working at Schmuel's. Now you don't have to anymore. <laughs> what the fuck's your problem? Uh, what the fuck is my problem? You know, this is not the place where your, your dreams come to life. It's a fucking industry. It's a fucking milk bottle factory. Here I am. I'm, I'm sucked down in the bullshit like everyone else. Steeped in it. <laughs> Eating my heart out because I made a movie about a fucking talking penguin. Ah, oh, Jesus. Uh, well, well, why am I talking to you? You don't care. I couldn't care less. Well, I couldn't care less. You know what? Who the fuck do you think you are? Do you think we could have changed this place working at Schmuel's? No? Well, now we do have the chance to change it. And I think that's great. You know what? Soon we're going to be in a position where we'll be able to make the kind of movies that we always wanted to make. We're going to make the movies we always dreamed of. No, you know what happens? You come here, you make your movie, you make it, and then what do you do? You, you, you want the next thing. You want the next thing. And so you just keep fucking feeding the machine. Did, how the fuck do you know that, though? I mean, how the fuck do you know that the next movie we make won't be the masterpiece that we always dreamed about? Because your name is fucking Mordecai! Why the fuck would you change it to Martin? Yeah, my name is Harry, but when I put my name on that script, I put Herschel! The name my parents gave me! And what about Allison, this girl that you love, and then, and then you, won't, you won't call her for two weeks for what? Why? Because she's a shitty actress? Look at you, buddy. <laughs> we wrote a movie about a fucking talking penguin. Honesty, my ass. Hey man, things have to be compromised. That's fucking life. Yeah, well, you know what? I don't think I'm willing to compromise as much as you are. Oh, that's Helga. I'm out of here. You know what they say? <clears throat> Can't choose your childhood friends, they're just there. Yeah, you know, if I met you today, I don't know. I don't know if I'd want you to be my friend.
Hey. <laughs> How you doing? What are you doing here? Uh, Helga told me to meet her here. She said she's gonna be here around two. That's funny, because Allison told me to... Uh, well, sit down, man. So, so... <laughs> Allison and Helga. Yeah, I guess so. I saw you in the trades a few times. Yeah. Yeah. Bet you can't wait to see the sequel to the Penguin Pascal. Hmm? Any good? That's yeah, complete shit. What about you? What have you been up to? Uh, I've been making small movies. Very, very small movies. Uh, I finished my last one about a month ago. How was it? Uh, it was a little too dark. What do you mean, like dark comedy or avant-garde dark? Mm, no, no, we didn't have enough money to light the sets properly, so it was a little too dark. You couldn't see the actors. <laughs> you know, you uh, were right. I do have to feed the machine. Yeah, well, what's worse, feeding the machine or having no machine? You know, most uh, people don't know this, but uh, Indiana Jones was actually a superhero. Huh? I mean, of course, it wasn't based on a comic book, but he is just like Superman, Batman, and Spider-Man. No, Superman, Spider-Man, and even Batman all have costumes. Well, yeah, so does Indiana Jones. He has the hat, the brown leather jacket. He even has a special weapon, the whip. No, he just wore that so his real clothes wouldn't get dirty. And anyway, in every superhero story, we see how the superhero came to be a superhero. Like Batman was an orphan, and Superman also, and Spider-Man got stung by a spider. Whereas Indiana Jones was always Indiana Jones. What are you talking? What about the Last Crusade? I mean, the whole beginning was a story of, as a boy, becoming a superhero. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, that, that was just to show the relationship with a father. Don't you remember he's, he's on the adventure on the train and then he goes home to see Sean Connery who doesn't support him, he tells him to do his homework. Exactly. Ah, the fact that his father didn't support him in his passions, that is what made him become who he is. All right, granted, but Indiana Jones, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? No, I'm serious, brace yourself, because Indiana Jones does not hide his true identity from the public. You know, we could use that. Yeah? You think? Yeah. 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 Yeah, that could be nice. <laughs> you think we should write something? Together? Yeah, together. So another screenplay by Herschel Lipschitz and Marty Shapiro? No, no, no. Herschel Lipschitz and Mordecai Shapiro. <laughs> okay. We need story, though. We have a story. No talking penguins this time. We might have to mention it. Mm -hmm. Guess we have to. Well, what else we got? It's a story about a friendship, a friendship between two guys from Brooklyn who come to Hollywood to become screenwriters. Okay, but we need conflict. What's our conflict? Hey, it's a start. 